Ballistic glass. If you're around my age, you'll probably know it as the thing the Mythbusters use to protect themselves during their tests. If you're a little bit younger, you might know it from the Slow Mo Guys or Hacksmith. There are a number of types of ballistic glasses and a whole bunch of different materials that go into them. But one of the most common ones is polycarbonate, which I have here in the form of 3D printing filament. I had this random thought that I wanted to see if I could print something that's bulletproof. Not sure if we'll get there today, but believe me, I will. For today, I'll be testing a few different projectiles against a few different thicknesses of polycarbonate. I also have a sheet of manufactured polycarbonate, which I'll be using as a comparison. I just traced it out to the same shape and cut it out using a saw. Now, last time I tested the impact resistance of PLA and PETG, and to no one's surprise, they completely shattered when hit with an arrow. They were able to stop a pellet though. Now, one of the downsides of the 3D printing process is as you increase thickness, you quickly lose transparency. I have one here that's reasonably clear, but quite thin. And I have a thicker one here that's the same thickness as the PLA and the PETG for comparison. This gray one here is also polycarbonate. It's from Polymaker, it's their Polymax line, and it's more expensive, but it's supposedly even stronger. So we'll put that to the test too. I'll link to it in the description. So let's leave my underground dungeon where I spend 99% of my life and head outside to the bright and scary world and take some shots. So we're going to start off with the BB versus the thinnest piece of polycarbonate. And it went right through pretty easily, not much resistance there. I'm just going to reset the target here with the 5mm thick piece of polycarbonate. And if you blinked, you might have missed it. It just ricocheted right back off. There was only a small mark left on the polycarbonate. And now we're going to move on to the bow and arrow. And one of the issues of this test is my bad aim. I seem to not be able to hit the target on the first shot. But after a few attempts, I hit it, but just on the edge of the target, which might be an issue. I'll talk about that later. I was eventually able to hit it right on target and it just went right through. Not much issue there. But my concern is that first shot that hit the edge left a little crack in it, so it might have weakened the polycarbonate. And our poor little mannequin here took one right in the dome. I don't think she's getting back up after that one. And now I'm going to test the store-bought piece of polycarbonate. And the arrow did almost no damage. That completely absorbed the impact. And those little bits you see falling off are just little flakes left from the saw blade. So it performed very well as advertised. I see why they use it in ballistic glass. Up next is the Polymaker Polymax Polycarbonate. And it stopped the arrow dead in its tracks and sending it almost comically back in the exact same trajectory it came in on. And I didn't get it on video, but I made a recreation of what happened next. The arrow flew back at me, but I easily deflected it with my ninja-like reflexes. And that's why I wear safety goggles. Safety first, kids. We got lots of interesting results here and not entirely expected. Starting with the thinnest and clearest one, it was easily penetrated by the BB. No surprise there as it was only a few layers thick. Onto the store-bought piece. I was really impressed by this. At only an eighth of an inch thick or about 3.2 millimeters, it was able to stop an arrow in its tracks. I know this stuff is bullet resistant and even bulletproof at certain thicknesses, but I didn't think at this thickness it would be able to stop an arrow so easily. It only left a small indentation with no cracking at all. Then moving on to the five millimeter thick one. Kind of speaks for itself a little bit. This is the one made from the clear polycarbonate filament. Unfortunately, thanks to my bad aim, the results might not be definitive on this one. The first shot hit it right on the edge and cracked it a little bit. On the shot that hit it, it went right through, but it's hard to say if it would have done that anyways or if the crack had something to do with it. It does seem a little more brittle though than the store-bought polycarbonate. The store-bought polycarbonate is made in a mold where the molten polycarbonate is either injected or poured into it, and it all cools as one solid piece, which gives it an extra strength that the 3D printed one just doesn't have. The 3D printing one cools layer at a time, which causes a little bit of weakness as the layers don't bond quite as strong as the solid piece. I would say the manufactured sheet wins out on this one. Even at almost two millimeters thinner, it held up and probably would withstand a few more shots. On to the Polymaker Polymax. This is the more expensive stuff, so I thought if anything could do it, it would be this. And I was very happy to see it stop the arrow. The damage looks pretty similar to the manufactured piece where it just deformed a little but didn't crack. And the damage is kind of interesting. It's almost liquid-like in the way it pushed back up and around the arrow, like something hitting water. 
We got some really cool results today and believe it or not, I have some even stronger stuff to try next. So if you wanna see that, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you liked the video, check out my Patreon, I'll link it below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.